Hi guys, today we are going to explain about a community planning and awareness of natural disasters or even man-made disasters. When we think about disasters, disaster preparedness, the first thing come to my mind is alternative communication system. See, I've been in uh, different disasters and one thing which I realized uh, was that communication is the biggest hindrance there. During the earthquake, all the phone lines were dead. So there is no way you can communicate and say, I'm, not, I'm safe or I'm not safe. Only radio controlled uh, apparatus worked. No satellite connections, no landlines, no telephone networks. Everything was gone. Everything was blacked out. Only wireless communication systems were working. So it's important to have, as a community, need to have uh, wireless operated commun uh, communication system in case of a disaster. If not, you'll have to uh, get assistance of policemen or somebody of that cadre which has, who has got a, a radio controlled communicative device. Communication setup will be down and you have to be prepared for it and it can be down for a couple of days easy. So alternative communica communication system has to be arranged in local areas by the authorities. That is one of the um, preparedness for any disaster, potential disasters in a, a community level. I'm not saying, saying about individual level, it's a community level. In individual level, you need to have a, a radio operated with battery or whatever uh, in case of disasters so that you can get updated, updated news. Nothing else will work. So, uh, ham radios, satellite communication systems, uh, I'm not saying about mobile uh, communication system, there is satellite phones which will work. Um, radio, ham radios will work, also wireless generally works, unless if the, there is no complete power, power outage. So this is a communication problem you may face in disasters. Next thing come to my mind about disasters is, uh, is building practices. See, constructions has to be in accordance with the potential disaster plan. Each area will have a, a, a plan for disaster disaster possibility say some some can be earthquake prone areas some can be tsunami prone areas some can be hurricane prone areas some can be flood prone area in every case there is a system of construction of buildings so whenever you are occupying an area which is uh, well, some kind of disaster prone make sure that the building is able to withstand it the construction method used or practices used are able to sustain such a um, natural disasters. Then the government authorities or local authorities have to share the responsibility about how to manage a disaster and they have to come up with a plan, disaster management plan. Individual level it may not be possible, in family level you can make one but in an in institution level like in a school we need to have a disaster management plan and we do have. We need to identify which are the safe places in a, in a school. We need to identify which is the safest route people have to take. We need to identify how to proceed, which sequence, which stairs to use. All this comes in a disaster management plan. And it is there and uh, we have drilled here last year, I think. Uh, we will be doing it uh, often. It's just because the preparedness very much relies on how much practices you do. All the documents and all the theories can be there, but if you don't practice it, it will not be possible to execute it when a need arises. Let's hope that it never comes, but we'll have to prepare for the worst, even if we are hoping for the best. So, why we need to plan? Because we have to reduce the damages. Disaster management. Remember I said disaster management is controlling the disasters, controlling the damages, or reducing the risk. So that's why we need a plan. What we need to plan? We need to plan for the worst case scenario and we'll have to see, assess what are the situations, what are the possible disasters can happen in our area. Thank God we are not in a disaster prone area, but still earthquakes or hurricanes, you know, never know when it comes. So the contingency plan is there and what includes in them is the stability of the building, 
the outlets of the building where we can use to get out of the building, uh, which routes to take, where to assemble, which is an emergency assembling point um, in our school. In our school, it is uh, the basketball court and the football court, that's the emergency assembly area. And whichever stairs have to take, uh, in which order we will have to go. It's all had been explained last year. So such disaster management plan is important to control the damages. I'm explaining this here so that next time when you come to come across such a emergency drills and so on, make sure that you're taking it serious. Also, there I have I will add again whatever I said about survival skills. The first thing you have to remember is do not panic, do not run. Because in every emergency we have studied, majority of the people died due to a stampede. That means people are rushing to get away from the scene and one falls down, everybody stamps on him and next one falls down. So the people are running over people and the persons who fall down is gone, died. In many disasters, so many people have died in stampede. That's why there is a rule saying, do not run, do not panic. Go fast, but walk fast. Maintain the distance between the person in front of you so that you don't stamp on him or you don't fall over him. So, whatever you have to remember, first thing you have to remember is do not panic and do not run. In any case, even if you see a snake, don't run. Don't give him a moving target or a dog comes behind you. Don't run. Stand, stand your ground. It may stop seeing that you are standing your ground. So, the first instant, our mentality is to run. Do not do it. It will worsen the situation, whatever is the situation. So, whenever there is an emergency, let it be small, let it be big. The theory is the same. Do not panic. Assess the situation. Uh, check out for the immediate threat. Avoid it. And avoid further damages. Hope you understood whatever we explained about natural disasters and disaster management. At least I think the basic concept is in you and the basic idea how to survive it is there. Hope this class was um, informative and assisting in such cases. I hope not to find you in any time in any kind of disasters, but awareness is always good. Be aware of it and uh, learn what to do in such a situations if ever you come across such, uh, such a one when it's small or big. Thank you very much for listening to the classes. Um, I really enjoyed it right? and I hope you did the same as well. Thank you once again.